couch Dogs need adolescents Hey there Lick and Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another full fingerstyle arrangement lesson right here on Lick and Riff. And in this video, we're gonna learn a country style arrangement of me and Bobby McGee. By country style, I don't mean Travis picking. This time, I mean something different. Usually country style means Travis picking. But this one utilizes double stops because the song itself is pretty simple. It's only three chords, it's A, E, and D. So uh, instead of just using the chords with a one string melody all the time, uh, I decided to take this and harmonize it and turn it into a full country style uh, arrangement with double stops. So now you'll see what I mean when I play it and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick with tabs right here on the screen as usual. So it goes like this, enjoy. All right, so before we start, I just want to thank the private student who purchased this as a private arrangement and donated it to the channel for everyone's enjoyment. Thank you very much, private student. We're all gonna have fun with this. So um, the verse starts with A, and you play the A bass. You can play E A, okay, as long as you play it staccato and not, okay, both bass strings at once. I just palm mute the E bass and then play the open A. Okay. And then you start with an A chord. Now, if you look at this, okay, an A chord, you see that we have uh, five and six on strings two and three. So that's what we use as the double stop. Okay, Four times, five and six on strings two and three. Then a fifth time, and then Okay, six hammer on to seven on the third string and then six again. Now when you play six again, you can harmonize again with five on the E string, so, uh, on the B string. So it's okay, or okay, just to vary it at the end there. And of course you can play the bass uh, on every beat. every half a bar, okay? And use every, uh, any rhythmic method you find comfortable, okay? Slapping, no slapping, strumming, just picking, anything here works. And then you continue with the A chord, but this time only three double stops here with five and six on strings two and three, and then three and four, then two and two, which is the A chord. So, okay. Now, 
the keen-eared among you have heard that this is the same as but again this is a single note harmony a uh, single note melody and this is a double note harmony so variation and then you still play the A bass, we're still on A, but this time you play three and four on strings, two and three, five times. Okay, and then this. On the second string, two hammer on to three, pull off to two, pull off to zero, and then two on the third string, open second. Okay, and now we're on E, so we play the E bass and the E chord. We have an empty bar of E, so we play the chord any way we like. And then we start harmonizing in E. So the pedal note here, the note that we use to harmonize is one on the third string. And the bass note, of course, is the sixth string. We play E, so okay, this is the, the basic chord the second and third strings as the double stop and the sixth string as the bass note. So, the first melody is this. Okay? It's 0, 2, 3, 3, 3, 2, 0 on the second string, all harmonized by one on the third. And then, bass again. 3, 3, 2 on the second string, harmonized by 1 on the third, and then 1 on the third with, okay, 0 hammer on to 2, pull off to 0 on the second. So it's... Okay, and then... Okay, 5 times with 3 and 1 on strings 2 and 3. Of course, the bass comes first. And then, open second, two on the third, open second, and then back to A. Now, again, I wanted to variate, so instead of returning to five and six on strings two and three, I return to five and six on strings one and three. And you slide from two to six on the third string, along with the A bass, right? And then, the five on the E string. And again, it's all inside the chord, okay, it's this, so um, E, okay, into A, and then you have the rest of the bar free, so I just play around with this harmony, okay, just rhythmically, um, nothing fancy here, and then we have um, the first Double stop, again. Okay. And it's four times or five times, depending on where you want to start. Okay. This, I think, is a little bit too much, but it's more uh, true to the lyrics. But again, it's an arrangement you don't have to adhere to the lyrics. So, okay. And then it's, it's three and four, two and two, three and four. So I do it like this, three and four with... Uh, fingers two and three, and a bar on two. Okay, you can also do this. Okay, but this shortens the notes a little bit. But it's also an option. It's uh, it's a rhythmic option. Uh, you don't have to have long notes all the time. So, okay, it creates a nice uh, frolicking sort of sound. And then you repeat this. Three more, five and sixes, okay. then seven and seven, then eight and six, okay. so it's, okay. this is A7 because it's out of this, so um, then I do this. Okay. Um, just as an embellishment, right, into D. So eight, pull off to seven on the second string, six, slide to seven on the third string, and then I bar seven and seven on strings two and three, 
and I play the D bass before that because now this is D, it's out of this. So, so it was um, Now we are still in D, so we play the bass and I like to slide into 10 and 11, still on strings 2 and 3. Okay, four times, and then okay, it's uh, 10 hammer on to 12 on the second string, and then 10 again, then 11 on the third. And this is out of this, again, the, the normal E-shaped bar. It's just a note, uh, two notes out of the chord. And then it's this. Actually, I played the wrong bass note, it's A here. Okay. It's still on strings 2 and 3, okay. most of it is, and we're on A now, so we play the 5th string first, and then it's 8 and 9, 7 and 7, 5 and 6, then back up to 7, 7, 8 and 9, so... Okay, now here I really like the short note version instead of... Okay. Um, I think the short notes here really work well. Okay. You can also do uh, hammer on pull off from 8 to 10 to 8 on the second string if you want. Okay. If you like, uh, unnecessary. Um, and then, unnecessary in my opinion, if it sounds good to you, by all means do it. Uh, then we have E7. So it's 7 and 6 on strings 3 and 4, and it's out of the C7 shape, okay? C, D, E, or C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. So it's this, okay? And the E bass string, of course, with 7 and 6 on strings 3 and 4, you play it 4 or 5 times, or Just as an embellished finisher there for the verse. Seven pull off to six, slide to four on the third string. And then it's uh, seven pull off to six, hammer on to seven on the fourth. And with the left hammer on, you can play the A bass. Okay? Or afterwards. And then you have the seven on the fourth and the open fifth to play around with. For the chorus. So let's go over the verse one more time slowly. A. Single note and then double stop variation. Then again. Then that embellished line. Then E. Pedal note, uh, double stops. Back to A, then back to the original A, then again, then again, but going up. Start with the D on 10 and 11. Okay, and the last uh, couple of notes are 9 and 9 and 7 and 7, so it's. Okay, now if we want to uh, if we want to count it, it's it's five or six times or four, depending on how you want to express it. Three times even. Okay, or okay, going to the 
exaggeration uh, side. Okay. There are many, many ways to, to play this line, but it's just a chord, 10 and 11, so don't go too crazy with this. Um, and then it's... Okay. It's the notes we started with, uh, 5 and 6, 3 and 4, 2 and 2, then back up to 3 and 4, 5 and 6, all with A. So you can slide into that last one. Now you have a first ending and a second ending. The first ending starts with E7, just like before. And then... Then it's still E with 4-2-4 four, four on the third string. And then a slide into A, just like we finished the first line. Okay? Um, actually, it was the second line of the verse, but you know what I mean. Okay, the 5 and 6 on strings 1 and 3, so... Okay? That's the first ending, E7 back to A, and then you play this again. And then you have E7 again for the second ending. And then... Okay, again, just an embellished line. It's 7, 7 pull off to 6 on the 3rd, 7, 6 on the 4th, 7 on the 5th, with E. And then you can continue playing the, the harmony there, the, the octave, or continue playing the whole E7 chord. Um, up to you, and then you play E7, and then... It's um, E7 again, 7 and 6, three times, and then you reverse it to 6 and 7. And then it's 4 and 6, still on E, and then 4 and 6 twice, 2 and 4, and then uh, 6 and 7 on strings 3 and 4, with A. And it's this. This is again A. This is again out of the chord. And as a finisher, um, the, the embellished finish, I played this. Okay. This, the last chord that we play, I played strings and then okay, I wasn't thinking about it. Um, in terms of tab, I just played it um, as I heard it. So, strings, five, four, three, one. Then you go on strings three and four to nine and 11, and you play strings two, three, four. So, okay, and make sure you keep the open strings ringing to mask the transition, okay? That's uh, me and Bobby McGee for you. So before you go practice this, download the tab from the website. The link is below in the description. Everything is for free, of course, just like this lesson. And before you go download the tab, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because if you haven't already, why not? What's wrong with you? There's a ton of free lessons over here. So just join the Lick and Ref community and learn music for free. Um, and go download the tab. The tab is also for free. And if you want to give something back anyway, there's a large blue donation button right above the tabs. You can't miss it. It's large, it's blue, it's oval, and it says donate. It's a beautiful donation button. And uh, everything goes right back into your guitar education, into making these lessons, into making time to work on the lessons, to prepare the lessons, to film them, to edit them. It all takes time and effort. So if you want to help out, I'd be more than grateful for any donation you choose to make. So thank you in advance for it. Anyway, you go practice this arrangement, have fun with it, and I'll see you the next lesson. So thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Enjoy.